Five, there's a fight underway to get Medicare coverage for a new class of drugs. The drugs have shown promise in slowing down Alzheimer's disease. Advocates for that coverage are in Washington, D.C. this week. Joe Hickman talked to a man from Springfield about the mission. Around 900 peaceful protesters gathered in front of the White House today to urge the government to move quicker in the battle against Alzheimer's. Their effort is to persuade the Medicare health program to provide full coverage for those age 65 and over for new drugs that have shown the ability to slow down the progression of the disease if detected in its early stages. The FDA granted accelerated approval of the new treatment in January, but the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services says it won't consider Medicare coverage until all the clinical trials are finished and the drugs receive full commercial approval, which won't happen until at least July. It's the only class of drugs that has ever been FDA approved that's not covered by Medicare. Springfieldian Mark Applegate was among those protesting and explained that while July may seem a short time away to most people, time is much more precious to those with Alzheimer's. Every single day, 2,000 people uh, pass from being eligible for a trial of it to not being eligible. So in the year, it's been over 600,000 people that uh, could have potentially been on it that aren't going to be. Mark knows a lot about Alzheimer's because his mother is in the final stages of the disease that affects around 6.5 million Americans including one out of every nine people aged 65 or older. And considering the new drugs have shown the ability to slow down the disease's progression by as much as 27 percent. My mom has had the disease for 14 years. Would have bought her 3.75 years roughly. So to me, it's pretty significant. These advocates are not yet done with their work in Washington. Tomorrow we're going to Capitol Hill just to meet all of our representatives. All 900 of us will have appointments of different representatives and different senators. But unless they succeed in making change, those with Alzheimer's will have to come up with the $25,000 it would take to pay for a year of the new drugs. As right now, the only ways to be covered are... Your insurance money, if they'll cover it, and if you are willing to get in a clinical trial in Kansas City, St. Louis, one of the research centers, and then they can cover with Medicare. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.